In this video we're going to create autofillable certificates. You can enter a first name and a surname into any of these fields. Whatever you enter into this table will automatically be autofilled to the first page and the second page. Let's switch to how we do that in PowerPoint now. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm creating a text box where the user will enter the first name and surname. And then I'm going to create a shape that will go behind this text box. So you can just have an outline of it. I'm going to send this to the back. Now I'm just going to change the background of this shape to be a bit more gray. And I'm going to change the border of this thing to be a bit thicker with maybe a gray border. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the flat pack tab. And I'm going to convert that text box into a PDF form field. I'm going to uncheck multi line. And I'm going to copy text to form field. And finally, I'm going to just give this form field a name and we're going to be changing this part later on. Okay, now I'm ready to lay this out. I'm going to select both of these, press Ctrl G to group them and paste this group a couple of times. And I'm going to use a layout trick to line these up. First, I'm going to distribute them vertically and then I'm going to align them all to the left. So I can have a nice table. I'm going to select all of these again, group them again by pressing Ctrl G copy and paste this group over. I'm going to do the same trick again, Com copy paste again, select all three groups. And this time I'm going to distribute it horizontally. That's it. Now I'm going to select all of these and press control shift G and that ungrouped everything again. I'm going to insert a new slide. This is where the first certificate will be. Just cleared the slide. I'm going to insert a shape that looks a little bit like a certificate. Going to fill out the slide, make this a little bit bigger for the name. That's basically it. I'm going to insert a text box and that's going to be the form field that will get the value from the other one. I'm just going to enter first name and surname again, but I do want to place it at into the certificate banner, fill it out. And most importantly, I'm going to change the alignment of this. And I'm going to also change the font. Okay, now I'm going to also change this text box into a form field. And the most important thing is this name, I'm going to name one, has to match whatever this form field is, which is also name one. Let's see what that looks like. After creating create PDF, I can now see that all the form fields are there and whatever I insert into this first form field should duplicate onto the first page. That's because they share the same name. Let's do that for the second form field. I'm going to insert a new slide and I'm just going to rename this text box to name two. And on the first slide, the second form field, I'm also going to change to name two. So whatever I type in that second one will duplicate onto the second page. Now autofill also works the other way, which means whatever I type in one of these form fields will autofill to the table too. So it goes both ways. 
Now to finish this product off, you would just have to create more slides to match the form fields in the table and then you're done.